I've been sharing a lot of my insights and ideas on your cat prep and a lot of the students have been saying to me that hey we are weak in QA, we are weak in DILR, we are weak in VARC. In this video I am addressing all of those students who say that hey I am weak in DILR because the fact is that probably you are not weak in DILR. You're probably you've not done the complete analysis of what you're truly weak in and probably there are certain areas within DILR in which you're good at and therefore just by saying to yourself that I'm weak in DILR you are losing out on at least 5 to 10 percentile in that section. My aim is to awaken you on this topic. Hi, I'm Darpan Saxena, an MBA graduate from IIM Udaipur and let's get on with the video. What do I mean when I say that you are not weak in DILR? Obviously, you are scoring low in DILR, you are not scoring well, you are not able to attempt a lot of questions in it. All of those are the evident problems which you have. However, if I'm still saying that you should not say to yourself that you are weak in DILR, I am basically saying to yourself that saying that I'm weak in DILR is a very broad phrase. You know, it's something which is very vague. Within DILR, you need to be able to have identified what exactly is your problem because unless and until you find out the true demon which is troubling you, you will always end up demonizing the entire section and even if there is something which is easy, which is simple for you to solve, you will still get frightened by it and you will lose out on a great chance to actually improve your DILR score by 5 to 10 or even more percentile. I don't want that to happen. Now for this, I've been creating lots of videos on CAT and you guys, MBA students and aspirants have been appreciating it a lot. Over the last few weeks, for all of you who have been weak in QA or DILR or VARC, I've created certain videos which are on the preparation strategy in the last few weeks. Also, after that, I created videos on what should be your attempt strategy. Now, what I'm creating and what I'm speaking to you about is that what exactly should be your mindset when you are in CAT, especially in those areas where you think you are weak. That is what I am planning to address here in this video. Now, I'll quickly head back to my screen and let's dive in to understand what DILR is all about. Now, just a quick glimpse of DILR so that the context is absolutely set in front of us. DILR will be having 20 questions which you need to solve in 40 minutes. The breakup of the entire section is expected to be exactly the same as it was in the last year's CAT, which means that four questions each in the two sets of DI and six questions each in the two sets of LR. Zyada se zyada ho sakta hai ye ki ek DI set mein you might encounter six questions whereas in one LR set you might encounter four. However, broadly the structure is the same which has again been confirmed by the official CAT mock which was released on the CAT website. From there, we've already established that, we've already seen this in one of my last few videos, that DILR is a section in which you need to choose your sets properly. Because what you can see in this score versus percentile comparison, that even somebody who's strong in DILR, even somebody who's scoring a 99.5 percentile in DILR is solving only three sets and assuming that the accuracy in DILR is close to 100% for almost all of us, we can safely see that yes, the maximum sets which you can attempt, one of the inferences which we can take from here is that the maximum number of sets which you can practically attempt in that given time is maximum three sets. You should not even aim to attempt all four sets. That is not practical as per how the exam is structured as of now. Also, we had inferred that hence, all you've got to do is to pick three sets, two or three sets and solve them 
you need to not obsess over speed and in fact spend your initial minutes in finding out which sets to attempt and also one very small inference yet a very important one we saw that the di sets seem to be slightly easier than the lr sets and obviously it is entirely as per last year's cat now all of this we know all of this we know already what my point is that if you're somebody who does not feel good about dilr if you're somebody who's not been scoring well in dilr in your mock tests then you should not demonize the entire section of dilr i am creating this video right now so that you can adapt your mindset as per this and so that even in these last few weeks you can go into the exam with the right mindset even if you are somebody who's not attempting cat in this year you have one year and therefore this video becomes even more important for you as you would be starting your dilr prep with the right mindset so let me quickly get to the screen and help you understand that why exactly am i saying that you're not weak in dilr you are actually weak in something else but you are saying it that you're weak in dilr i've compiled some three or four most common problems which i've heard in the comments which i've heard students say which i've seen elsewhere since i have had experience in this cat prep industry with career launcher the broad four five areas the broad areas the you know the broad problem statements students say that you know my calculation is bad and hence i often find myself struggling in di now again if you understand this is only on the surface you are saying that my calculation is weak this is only on the surface the fact is the real problem if you keep on asking yourself that but why why is it that my calculation is weak why is it that even when i calculate i am making some sort of errors why is it so when you keep on asking this why 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 the final problem which you might arrive at is this that while i have enough time to solve but i am just careless this is actually the real problem because i can say this to you with a lot of surety that cat is not expecting you to calculate a lot of things they are expecting you to use approximations they are expecting you to be smart so very rarely would there be a question in which you know which is a calculation intensive one and even if there is calculation in something it is not a very complex one and hence if you are able to calmly solve it which you should be able to why because we've already established that you should not obsess over speed you have the entire duration to you know to solve only two to three sets even if you were to solve three sets properly you have enough time so probably if you're somebody whose only problem right now in dilr is that my calculation is weak you must go back slow down a bit while you're doing your calculations and relax because while you have attempted the entire question correctly you have completely understood the entire thing but just because you were in some haste you were able to have that wrong this is what the real problem ends up being now one of the second problems which students always say is that i find a lot of problem with sets which have too much of data or or in sets or in lr sets where we have to make too many cases this is a very common problem which a lot of students have but it it doesn't seem very logical that why exactly what happens that when there is too much of data to handle what exactly is happening if you again keep on asking yourself why 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 what you'll realize is something which is very simple the fact is that when there is too much data which you have to handle in a di or lr set you need to organize all of it properly on your sheet and the problem why you are committing mistakes in such sets is because you are not properly utilizing your sheet it could be as simple as that do you understand this the problem can be as simple as this that while everything is fine with you just 
because you're not organizing data on your sheet on the rough sheet which they provide you you have a entire booklet which they would give to you and you have the entire set of it to do your rough work in it so at times the problem only is that because i did not organize it properly i did not write it neatly i forgot about it or i could not understand it and hence i made a flaw i made a error in that which invited a minus one in that this is also a very big problem do not underestimate this i have genuinely encountered that students face a lot of dilr issues because they're not organizing data properly as simple as that so these are some things which you can actually make it happen from right now itself even if you are just one or two weeks away from the exam you can still ensure that okay from now on when i go into my exam the least i can do is to organize everything properly that's about it so even this video within the last one or two weeks can make a big impact for you that is what my objective is now the third thing the third issue which i've encountered you know which students encounter is that students know that yes in the current setting of the exam in the current structure of the exam you cannot practically you know you cannot practically attempt all four sets therefore you know that you need to choose the sets and a lot of students they say that but i can't quickly find out that okay which set or sets i have to leave i don't know you know how to even find that out that which ones i should attempt which ones i should leave because probably often it happens that you know i start solving a set and then i realize that you know this set i should have left why have i even started this up this happens a lot and if the and you know if this happens with you a lot then usually the problem is this it is simply that either you've not attempted enough number of mock tests but i'm assuming that since you have this problem you would have attempted a few of them and hence you know that yes this is a problem and hence the problem is that even if you have attempted the mock tests you have not analyzed them well because had you analyzed even 5 or 10 or 15 of your last mock tests you would know exactly where you get stuck what kind of sets you have a problem in what are the problems which you encounter in the sets which you attempt wrongly so probably this is a analysis problem which you can still solve so this video is still important for you for anyone be it one week away from exam or be it one year away from exam this is what you need to know so even right now what you can do is if you are specifically struggling with this problem just go back quickly spend a day on this analyze your mocks for identifying that what are the kind of sets which you can ace those are the sets if you find on the cad day they have to be your attempt number 1 and find out that which sets are you always not able to solve properly you know it this is something which can come from experience now however this problem can also happen with somebody who has analyzed the mock tests properly so if you're somebody who's a nice bright student who says that no sir but i've already analyzed my mocks and still still i'm not able to finalize which ones to choose i just can't find out that okay this one i should start with or this or leave nahi but i can even start with this or this because when you are because when you are a good student of di lr what happens is that you feel that yes you can solve all the things therefore the problem in that case is probably that you get into analysis paralysis that while yes it's good to spend a few minutes to try and find out which sets you need to start off with but to take forever and to be not able to make a choice and commit to one set is a problem that where you have over analyzed it so if you're somebody who gets a feeling that yes i can solve almost all kinds you need to choose the three which you will go after within those three you need to also create a priority order that which is my first set which is my second or third or at least which is my first set because your first set will give you the momentum this is one of the problems and now i'll just quickly go to the last problem 
a lot of students would also say that hey my speed of solving a set is very slow i take a lot of time to solve a set and hence in the exam either i am able to solve just one or at max two sets that's about it and hence while i could have scored a 98 plus in dilr i'm scoring only 80s or 70s or something of that sort i don't know well if you see speed of solving has a different problem altogether and the problems the real problems behind speed of solving are actually already on your screen if you're somebody who thinks that speed of solving is a problem then your actual problem is either one or two that either your calculation is weak and hence you solve it very slowly or i i or, or you know or something of that sort and hence the problem number one is the thing probably you need to be more careful when you solve or you need to know some tricks from vedic math for you to make it faster that could be one way or the second problem can be that since you're not organizing your data properly on your sheet you're very slow in quickly finding out that okay what things have you already eliminated and what all things you have in front of you this is a very common problem this is what i had to share with you because i because i realize that it is very important to get into the exam room with the right mindset if you will enter the exam with a mindset that hey i am genuinely i am just generally weak in dilr there's a very low chance for you to even give yourself a fighting chance in dilr the reality is that nobody is weak in an entire section altogether usually we are weak in certain areas but we label it we label ourselves to be weak in an entire section and that is when we start creating problems for ourselves that was it from my end i hope this has been able to change your mindset about it and you're feeling slightly more good about your dilr if you're somebody who used to say that hey i'm weak in dilr for cat i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot and goodbye